In this lesson, we'll have a look at how to switch cameras halfway through the animation. Let's say, for example, we have a single camera here, and I'm going to animate the position of this very simply now. So I'll press P, keyframe the position, and then go to about a second and a half, and then lift the camera up on the Y axis, and then maybe push this in a little bit as well towards the Z. And we'll actually allow the word width to finalize its movement as well. So I'm just going to give this a bit more time. Let's say around about here, maybe a bit more there. And as the word Digidemi comes up, I want to switch to a different camera. Now, all you have to do for this is to create a new camera and make that new camera start from this point. And that's done in one or two ways. You either go and literally create a new camera by going to Layer, New, Camera. And you can choose your settings here. And then press OK. And then you need to ensure that this camera starts where the playhead is. This is how you switch between cameras. So it goes from this camera to the new camera that we just created, which is static. So I can select this camera and then maybe move this towards the word Digidemi towards the end. And then maybe lift this up a little bit and then back a little. So at this point, you'll see that the cameras will change. So if I now go and play this, you see that it uses my first camera until here. And then at that point, it just switches. And of course, I can select this camera and animate it as well. So I can press P and then keyframe its position. Maybe move this keyframe towards the beginning of this and then go forward and then maybe lift this one up and then back maybe. And then maybe we can make this a little slower. And if I go back to the beginning and preview this again, you see initially I played the first camera and at this point, just after two seconds, I switched to the second camera. Now I said there were two ways of doing this and this is the first way. The second way is this. If I select and delete my new camera, I can just go to my only camera here and select it so we can go to edit at the top and we can split the layer. This is the shortcut shift, command and D. Really useful shortcut to remember. What this does is it splits the layer at this time and it just continues as it does normally. But I now have two layers. I can now select this camera, which is a totally new camera. You can see here it's called camera two. And I can push this one towards here and maybe down. And it creates this motion path because the position of this is also animated from the previous position. So I can press P to reveal its position and then just get rid of these keyframes. So if I play this one back now, you see it uses the first camera until about here, just after two seconds. Then it switches to the second camera. I can go back to the beginning of the second camera with the shift key so it snaps. And I can maybe keyframe this and then go forward and then push this down and then maybe forward as well. So it gets closer to the word Digidemi and that's where it stops. So let's play it from the beginning to see what this looks like. Switching cameras in After Effects is very easy and it can be very useful and effective for all you storytellers.